בסדר, אז אנחנו בעצם נשארנו עם קצוויס קלאס, ואנחנו נשארנו עם פוקוסים על סובטרקשן על פרקשן. בלאס קלאס אנחנו עשינו דיוויזיון על פרקשן ואיבור וורד פרובלם. אז היום אנחנו נשארנו על סובטרקשן על פרקשן. Now, actually, the, the same method we apply when we're doing addition is actually the same method we are going to apply, only that the operations are different. All right. So, when we are looking at this subtraction, we are going to be looking at fractions that come with the same denominator. We we'll also check fractions that come with different denominator. Also, we are going to be looking at fractions that come with mixed fraction. All right. So, let's... Now, before I proceed to the calculation, I will beseech you all to please subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so that I can get a uh, notification anytime I upload. And also, do not forget to share the video with your loved ones. All right. So now, the first question we have here is 13 over 15 minus 2 over 15. So now, I want to do the subtraction. What do we do? This is, we are going to do the subtraction just straight away. Why? Because they have the same denominator. So this is what we do. Because they have the same denominator, we just pick one of the denominator, which is what? 15. To be our LCM. And after that, we just do our calculation straight up, which is 13 minus 2. Now, 13 minus 2 is going to be what? It's going to be 11. That's 11 over 15. So easy. And that's our answer. Now, let's look at this other example. This other example is different from this in the sense that this one does not come with the same denominator. They have different denominator. And as such, we cannot do it straight away the way we did this one. So what we are going to do is to look for the LCM of both of them, of 10 and 15. Now to look for the LCM of 10 and 15, this is what we do. 10 and 15. Now that LCM is going to be a common number with which this can divide, this one will divide the number. That's why I'm going to look for that common number, which is the LCM, the least or lowest common multiple. Now one number can I use to divide either this or this or both of them. I'll start with the smallest number. I will start with 2. Can 2 divide this? Yes, it can. So how many 2 can I get in 10? 5. How many 2 can I get in 15? I'm going to write my 15 because actually 2 can divide 15, but it will come with a remainder, and I do not want a remainder. So I'll rather leave my 15 the way it is. How many 2 can I get in 5? No. What else can I use to divide 5 and 15? I'll use 3. How many 3 can I get in 5? My 5 is going to remain. How many 3 can I get in 15? 5. Now I have 5, 5. That means I can use 5 to divide them. How many 5 can I get in 5? 1. How many 5 can I get in 5? 1. Now, I'm going to stop here because I have 1 all through here. So meaning that the LCM of 10 and 15 is now going to be what? 2 times 3, 6. 6 times 5, 30. So the LCM of 10 and 15 is going to be what? 30. So I'll, I'll, I'll now start my division. How many 10 can I get in 3? How many 10 can I get in 30? It's 3. 3 times 7, that's 21. How many 15 can I get in 30? 2. 2 times this 4, that's 8. So now, we are going to say 21 minus 8 over 30. So 21 minus 8 is going to be what? It's going to be 13, I believe. So, yes, it's going to be 13 over this 30. So you can see that although both of them are subtraction, but the fact that they come with this, this one comes with different denominator, you need to find the LCM for before you start your subtraction. Now the fact that this one comes with the same denominator, you just do your subtraction straight ahead. Now let's look at two more examples with fractions that come with mixed uh, numbers, that is all numbers and ordinary fractions. Now, look at this example three now. You can see that this fraction comes with uh, all numbers, that is they have mixed fractions. Now let's see how we are going to do this. Now the first thing you want to do here is to deal with the old numbers first. Meaning that you say, since this is subtraction, so we want to take the old numbers first. And in taking the old number first, this is what we do. We say 6 minus 3. 6 old number minus 3 old number. That gives us 3 whole number. And then we look at this denominator. This is 12 and this is 4. Now before, before I can find the LCM of both of them, all I need to do is just to find a common number with which both of them can divide. Now because I have... 12 and 4 and 12 seems to be a bigger number out of them so i'll pick 4 to ch i'll pick a bigger number which is 12 to check if both of them can actually divide it now this is 12 can 12 divide 12 yes it can can 4 divide 12 yes it can so i'll pick 12 
So how many twelve can I get in twelve? One. One times this five is what? Five. Minus. How many four can I get in twelve? Three. Three times this three is what? Nine. Now look at what we have here. I have five minus nine. Is it possible for me to subtract nine from five? No, it's not possible because nine is bigger than what? Five. So what do I do? I need to come in, add uh, to, to borrow one, and then that one becomes 12. And that 12, I'll add it to this 5. Does that make sense? All right. When I borrow one from this 3, it remains what? 2. And I still have my S which is what? 12. Now, that one I borrow will come in and become what? 12. And then I'll add it to this 5. Do you understand? So the one will become what? 12. And I'll add it to this 5. That is 12 plus 5. Minus this 9. And that will be what? 2 whole number. Now 12 plus 5 is what? 17. That's 17 minus 9 over what? 12. So my answer is 2 whole number. Now 17 minus 9 will be what? Um, I think 8. Yes. I will have 8 over what? 12. Now this is what I have. Although I can still decide to break this 8 over 12 further by dividing by what? 4. How many 4 can I get in 8? 2. How many four can I get in 12? 3. So my answer will now be what? 2 or number 2 over 3. Do you understand? Alright, now let's look at this last example here. I have 5 or number 1 over 6 minus 3 or number 2 over 3 plus 6 or number 1 over 12. Now if you observe closely, you will see that we have, this is not an ordinary subtraction work. This is what? We have both subtraction and what addition. So in a case, in any mathematical question, if you have more than one operator, if it's not only subtraction that you have, if you have like subtraction and addition at the same time, you need to follow the rule of what board mass. And like I said in a previous lesson, it is this board mass that will tell you what what operator should take pitch series, what operator should come first before the other. So now you take it one by one. This is bracket. You don't have any bracket here. This is off. We don't have any off here. This is division. We don't have any division operator here. This is multiplication. We don't have any multiplication here. This is addition. We have addition here. Meaning that you have to do addition first before you now go and do what? Subtraction. Now in this addition, this addition sign here is for this one. This subtraction here is actually for this. So because you are going to do addition first, that means you are going to rearrange it such that addition comes first and then subtraction comes later. Now in rearranging it, because this addition here is for this, that means I'm going to say this plus this minus this. Is that clear? Now let's see how it comes out. It's going to be 5 whole number, 1 over 6, plus 6 whole number, 1 over 12, minus this, minus 3 whole number, 2 over 3. Is that clear? Now, we've been able to arrange it based on this board mass that we have here. Addition first, and then subtraction later. Now, when you are rearranging, you need to be very careful. Like I used to tell you in previous lessons that this operator is for this one more time. This operator is for this. So, be careful how you want to arrange it. Alright. So, now, let's do it one by one. 5 plus 6 is what? Is 11. 11 minus 3 will now be what? Will be 8. That's our own number. Mm. Now the next thing we have is, we have this denominator to be 6. This is...